Hello and welcome to a new edition of QB1 with gifted quarterback expert Chrissy Freud. And she's here to talk LSU quarterback Garrett Nussmeyer. Um, Chrissy, talk to me about what does Nussmeyer bring to the table as a quarterback heading into year two at LSU? Yeah, I think he's a quarterback with a good arm, a quarterback that can make throws off platform, that can make throws on the run. I think that he's really kind of gifted athletically, and it kind of reminds me in a way of almost Johnny Manziel-esque. I know we don't talk about that a lot with him. And, I mean, he had some rookie growing pains, if you will, whenever he did see some time and the little action that he did see for LSU since he's been there. Uh, but I think that he's a player that probably has the highest ceiling in the room um, as a passer and then with that type of ability that he brings to the table and just the ability to evade pressure and do things on the run. And, and I'm glad you mentioned that having the high ceiling, that's where I was going to go next. I mean, talk to me in depth. Why do you feel, based on your knowledge of him and the team, just quarterbacks in general, why does he have the highest ceiling in the QB room at Baton Rouge? Well, I think it comes down to his pure ability as a passer. I think that he's kind of developed almost his reputation as a gunslinger that he's trying to get rid of. But really, if you can hone that in and kind of refine that, you have a guy that can make big plays for you. Uh, consistently and so I think that whenever we look at other players in the room like Miles Brennan who really hasn't risen to the occasion in, in any instance in which he's been there and he's never started and finished a full season as a starter I think that between that and then the inconsistency of Daniels uh, outside of Walker Howard who also has a really high ceiling it's going to come down to those two as to who is really the future here and I remember my conversations I've known Garrett Nussmeyer since he was a recruit in high school and I've, when you go and interview recruits, a lot of journalists know this. They usually struggle with media presence. But this is a quarterback that has always had a really high rate of maturity, really high football IQ. His dad is one of the coaches for the Dallas Cowboys. So he's studied film and has been having good mentorship really his entire life. And so he told me that he thought that he brought a Joe Burrow-like mentality to the table. And I think that we see that shine through a little bit. I asked Ed Ogeron about that while I was at LSU. And he said that it's obviously a little bit too early to jump the gun when it comes to comparing a generational talent, but that he did see some flashes of that in his game and his mindset. With so many different quarterbacks, talent levels, some high ceiling, some not, what are his odds of winning the starting job in, in this season? Well, he's still young, and I feel like that's the thing that's working against him. And there were some, some things he had to work through last season that he's going to have to continue to work through in fall camp. But if we're looking at pure talent here, He's obviously got just a little bit more experience in Walker Howard for what that's worth. Um, and then you look at Miles Brennan as the more safe option in terms of how long he's been there, even though he's never really wowed anybody. And then all the question marks surrounding Jaden Daniels and if he can improve as a passer and just what type of role he's going to play there. I think that Brian Kelly has been probably the most complimentary of Garrett Nussmeyer than any other quarterback in that room. So I think that there's definitely a chance that he could start the season as a starter. I think it's taking a little bit of a risk when you look at the other more experienced options, but I also wouldn't be surprised if he somehow has the reins by the end of the season or even earlier. And you mentioned it, former Notre Dame coach Brian Kelly, now at LSU for his first season, been very complimentary of him. What has he said about Grant that you know stands out? Because getting compliments from him, what these other guys are competing with, that's a big deal. Yeah, just a lot of comments about how well he's fitting into the system, how well he's uh, shown things in practices and just the amount of things that he's flashed. And I, Brian Kelly doesn't really mince words a lot. And there have been certain uh, types of plays, certain types of things that they've done that he's specified that the other quarterbacks have not done well. And it seems like there's just not quite that many negative comments that are quite as pointed coming out about Nussmeyer. And I think that says a lot.